Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory Let's Play series. This is uh, episode 4. Last episode we... Well, let's see, we basically made all these lines efficient. We have all of our uh, rods split and merged into an efficient line using 60 of everything. Same with our uh, plates. Got our copper line set up, automated our copper cables, and we got a screw line started. So as we get better belts and things, we can expand our screw line, expand our concrete line, and we've uh, finished setting up and optimizing our biomass line. So speaking of biomass, let's check on that. Yeah, we can use a bit more of this. Top it all off before we get started. Okay, so in the last episode, we also unlocked foundations, which we are not going to use quite yet, but we will soon, and the man. Fairly certain we unlocked the man. Yes, we are completely done with tier one, ready to start on tier two. So our next milestone will be tier two assembler, copper seeds, rotors. We'll probably get to that next episode, because for this episode, we want to do as many unlocks of the MAM as possible. These MAM unlocks are as important, if not more important, than the set unlocks for the game. A lot of the good stuff comes out of here. Your uh, better weapons, alien organisms. Start right off the bat. That unlock will let us turn our alien carapaces into biomass. So this will. Need ten of those. Let's see what we got in our storage shed over here. Yeah, we have exactly ten of those. Might need to go hunt up some more uh, alien organs. We'll grab these. We'll grab flower petals, slugs, sulfur, all this stuff. We'll grab these while we're here. Now every time we kill one of those shelled creatures and we get an alien carapace, we can use that carapace to turn it into biomass. And that unlocks this. We don't have access to rotors, so we can make that gun eventually. We need a few more of those to uh, upgrade our hand slots. Just need one of these to get this started. And ooh, we can do that one too. So we can turn our own organs into biomass as well. This little hair, we need some mycelia for that, as well as some uh, modular frames. I haven't got around to hunting up mycelia yet. That's something we can do soon. <coughs> Excuse me. Flower petals. We have plenty of those. This will unlock our color gun. Uh, let's see, I'm guessing we have 250 screws over here by now. Oh yeah. That's five minutes though. We'll come back to that one. Nuts, this will let us scan for nuts with our little uh, hand scanner which we haven't built yet but we will shortly new object added to the object scanner this will let us search for pale berries scan for pale berries this we haven't found yet 
Uh, there's not an abundance of these in the grasslands. There are some, but uh, we'll find one eventually. We'll throw it in here. Power slugs. This is probably the most important one in the game. Unlocking this lets us use green power slugs to create power shards, which in turns, if we unlock this, lets us overclock our machines. And the little bit of sulfur we have here will work to unlock this, begin this tree. And as you can see, that'll open up gunpowder. Now a lot of this stuff will be stalled on until later in the game, but can do flower pet we get the color gun or we can get the power slugs now I'm not big into painting things but you can paint things with the power gun or the color gun but we're gonna go with the five minute unlock for overclocking and if we find a yellow slug we'll be able to unlock yellow power shirts and then if we get this we'll be able to scan for slugs with our little hand scanner now speaking of our little hand scanner go over here to the equipment workshop and you notice we have an object scanner. This takes three beacons. Beacons are real easy to make. And we now have an object scanner. Place that in our hand. We have two hand slots now. Click on the left mouse button, you can decide what you're scanning for, berries or nuts. This is all we've unlocked so far, so this is all we can scan for. We unlock slug scanning, we'll be able to scan for slugs. Unlock bacon and garlic, we'll be able to scan for bacon and garlic. And later on in different trees, we'll add more and more things to this that we'll be able to scan for. Okay. And then this part assembly, we'll just set that milestone. We'll need 500 screws. It'll be a while before we have 500 screws, but we can gather everything else up. The rods are full. Most of the 500 screws. So we only need 80 more screws. We'll come back for that later. Uh, there's a little cave over here. And it's got some spiders in it, which will get us some more of those uh, alien organs. But it also has mycelia. creepy dark little cave. Turn the flashlight on. Flashlight's B, by the way. And we can pick up this mycelia. There's a ton of this in here. Within this fungus suggests strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the man. I think you can actually use a chainsaw and this stuff. I probably should have brought it along. But at some point, we should get attacked by some spiders in here. There we go. Real easy to kill. The baby ones, anyway. Alphas are a bit of a different deal. Okay, let's explore in here. We got plenty of mycelia for now. 
We'll come around. There's some more spiders in here to kill somewhere. There we go. Sneaky little bugger. Easy way to grind for some alien organs. Find any kind of cave, they usually have spiders in them. And here's this is a work in progress, Summer Sloop. Uh, doesn't do anything in the game at this point, but uh, later, obviously, they'll add something and it'll have some purpose. So over here, might as well grab it. Now, the reason I'm actually coming through here is it takes us out on a ledge. Eventually. And on this ledge is a lizard doggo, which we haven't encountered yet. something. Oh, there he is. Where's our lizard dog at? About every time i played this game, I come out on this little edge here, and there's one right here around here somewhere. That's an impure iron, impure iron. The slug up here. Something. Oh, there's our lizard. Doggo. Pretty sure I saw him. I don't think I'm imagining things. I saw him right in here. dog or some other time we'll uh, capture them you have to tame the lizard doggers you do that by dropping these berries on the ground so if you see one toss a berry in your hand and then drop it on the ground they'll come up eat it and uh, you can pet them and then tame them Go 
go back, check our research. I believe it's done by now. <coughs> and we should have enough screws. Looks like I could actually eat some of this. screws. We can now overclock our machines. Okay, I'm going to turn our slugs, our green slugs that we have here, into power shards. This will be unlocked. Now, when we get past your belts, the idea, you can overclock any kind of machine. You can overclock your biomass burners, your constructors. But because we started here in the grasslands and we're not starting on pure nodes, we will eventually overclock these miners. Now, there's no point really until we get the faster belts. But to see how it's done, you can just put the overclocks in here. And that's a 200% overclock. So if we turn this up, instead of 60 ore per minute, we'd be getting 120. Now, like I said, we're not going to do that right now because we, our belts are only handle 60 ore per minute. But uh, if we upgrade our belts, when we can upgrade our belts, then we can upgrade our miners as well to upgrade the entire operation. Now, we'll get started on our next unlock. I think this one was five minutes as well. And that will still leave us with enough screws to unlock our part assembly. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the <coughs> elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Okay, so that unlocks the assembler. The assembler is how we can make our reinforced iron plates, our rotors. Uh, I believe we also unlocked copper sheets. So that's something we should probably get started as well. But we'll start with the assembler. So we're going to need plates and I believe screws to make reinforced iron plates. But we'll set an assembler right here. We'll turn it around, face it this way. Uh, missing rotors. We gotta make rotors to make an assembler. For that we need rods and screws. We have some rods, we'll get some more here. Enough for one assembler. Now in the assembler, we can make these reinforced iron plates, rotors, modular frames. And we'll need this eventually for the space elevator. But for now, we want to get reinforced iron plates going. We'll need reinforced iron plates to make modular frames. So we will put a splitter right here on this line. See how we can just run that along that line? Yeah, we'll 
put that right in that machine. Then we'll need some screws from over here. Put another splitter here. And we'll run some screws over here. We're going to try to run it right here in front of here so we can leave this middle space open. We're also going to raise it up so we can go over this line down here. And then we need to power it. I think we'll have enough power for this, but I'm not 100% sure. Screws will get over here eventually. We'll throw those in there for now. Reinforced iron plates are what we are going to need in order to make Mark II belts when we unlock Mark II belts. So we will put oh, now we do personal storage backs. Oops. And these things like to jerk around, don't they? Now we have reinforced iron plates being made. Then we're gonna need rotors being made for that. We'll have to make some more rotors. Not sure if that's enough screws. It is just enough. And since we put that splitter right there, here, let's get rid of this. Let's face this one this way. This one's going to make rotors for us. And some we haven't used yet, we're going to use a conveyor lift. I'm going to put that as seven. I'm going to be using a lot of those in the future. Go right back across the line here. And straight down into there. Keep in mind all this is temporary. I'm not setting this up any kind of great way. This is all just a temporary thing. And then we'll put a splitter right in here for rods. And we'll bring rods right into there. And again, we will need power. Three out of four. So far, so good on our power network. We'll set another storage unit right here. And again, we'll simply bring this out and up one. Now we have rotors being made. Now we also need modular frames, but we're going to hold off on them for a bit. So we'll check our thing over here again, our MAM. Now this is complete. 
New equipment unlocked. We'll just finish that real quick because it's only three seconds. And we have some mycelia now, so we'll get that. Still need that bacon and garlic. I think I know where one of those are, so I should probably go grab that. But we'll, uh, we need 100 biomass to make some fabric. We can grab some biomass out of here, probably. Now we can make fabric. With fabric, we can make parachutes. Let's go make some fabric. Only need 10 of these, I believe. Have the cable. the other one there. Uh, not much we can do yet. We get some reinforced iron plates and some rotors. We can get the rebar gun going. Actually, while we're waiting for that stuff to build, why don't I go, and I believe I know where a bacon and garlic is. I'm not 100% sure. We'll keep our eyes open for slugs and the like. Somewhere over here, I believe, there's a bacon and garlic. Not 100% sure where. I kind of just kind of remember finding one over here and remember it being the first one I found. Might have been around this corner here. Mm, 
more sulfur, which we don't really need. Oh, there we go. Deuterium, oh. alright. We'll be able to scan for Deuterium now. New technologies can be developed based on this new superconductive gold like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the NAM. And some quartz, which we can now scan for. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. As far as Caterium, I believe there's some right... I guess it's over there. There's some over there too, but it's uh, got a big boulder blocked on it that we can't break off until we get dynamite. So over there is one that we can get to, but uh, we don't have the stuff on us to pipe that all the way back to base yet. We will soon. There's another bacon. Thought I heard something. I did. There's a crash site up there, and then there's a slug there. And there's a guy up there who wants to kill us. Might as well check out the crash site, right? beams or wire something should have tried to kill us by now nothing guarding us hmm. okay what's this take to open one quick wire well all right so we are going to make a man make these anywhere uh, I guess we're not. We don't have reinforced plates. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll make a craft bench. Make a reinforced plate. For that, we'll need some screws. And we have six plates on us. Hmm. Caterium. Now scan for Caterium. I need 50 Caterium to unlock Caterium and get okay. So I guess we won't be grabbing this one right away, but next time we have to put wire on us, we can stop by here and grab this one. I'm gonna hop down here. Gonna hurt a bit. Kill this guy. Oops. Help if I had my weapon out. Grab 
some slug. Uh, is there an easy way down for me? over here. Suppose we can get some more sulfur. Okay, let's head back to base. Actually, what we should do is make another man. And let's see. Need a lot of wire. We got all that back in the base, though. Got her bacon to gark now. That only takes three seconds. We don't have stators or steel pipes yet, that's for sure. slug scanning when we get back to the base. We got quartz now. Yeah, enough for that too. We don't for that. We don't for that. And we got the sulfur but not the coal. Okay. Go back to base to continue with that stuff. But now, as you can see, if we bring up our scanner, we can scan for sulfur, we can scan for catarium, we can scan for quartz. Because we found all that, these will be unlocked later through the normal trees, but we unlocked them a lot earlier because we went through the man. And then, of course, we got our normal stuff. I think in one of the other earlier episodes we found some coal over here. Reinforce 25 rotors, 500 screws. Dump some stuff off over here first. Five. 
That's going to take a while. I don't even do it on screws. Taking a lot of screws off that line. So yeah, that's all going to take a while. What's the other one that we did have though? Slug scanning. We can grab this one real quick. That's two minutes now. You get a bunch of wire for that one and for that one. So 3,000 wire total. Do we have that? I think we do. Oh, yeah. These organs and these carapaces. milestone is. Jump beds. Uh, we need rotors. That one's easy. Some concrete and some plates. awesome sink and the awesome shop will get to soonish probably next episode episode after that we're waiting on that stuff to build however let's see what are we have room at over here gonna put a constructor maybe you can fit it in here anywhere right here we're gonna split off of these And we are going to make some copper sheets. Now this only take it takes 20 copper ingots and 10. It only makes 10. Now and I know we're stealing off like a perfect setup here, but uh, some of this is going to get backed up anyway as those boxes over there get full. So for now at least we're going to steal that, and we're going to put another storage shed right here. copper sheets being made. I 
How are we doing on power? Yeah, we're getting close. No, we're doing good. Surprising. Okay, those are all full. More inventory slots. Takes five minutes to rebargain. It also takes five minutes. We can get this one now, though, so we're going to go ahead and grab it. Okay, and I think that's all going to be all for this episode. Uh, all we did was unlock a bunch of stuff in the MAM. And we're going to continue to unlock stuff in the MAM as we unlock these. And then here real soon, we've got this about where we want it. We do need to get modular frames being made here. And then we're going to start on our actual base. So all this is just temporary. While we do this, we'll actually start get modular frames set up, unlock some more stuff, and then we'll get our actual base begin begun being built so uh, i'll see you in the next episode and uh if you liked everything so far please like and subscribe and uh have a good day and we'll see you soon